Greetings to all the humans, and here's another book review. No deal. Um, this is Smoke and Mirrors by Neil Gaiman. It's a short story collection. Uh, short fictions and illusions. It has poetry, short stories, and is actually a really fun read. Uh, I really enjoyed this book. I am a big Neil Gaiman fan, so things have not changed with this book. They have just increased. And with every collection, the, n the nature of a collection in itself, uh, you're going to like something more than another. Just because, you know, if you have to choose, if you have more than one option, yeah. So I'm going to talk briefly about ten of the pieces, ten of the pieces that are uh, within Smoke and Mirrors that I really enjoyed and uh, to me were real highlights. Uh, the first one is The Price. I've never been a huge fan of cats, but this uh, this short story and other stuff that I've seen and watched and read and, and have happened uh, lately, uh, my mom adopted a cat. Um, this this makes me think of cats more fondly, and it goes to show that the level of loyalty of uh, what we would consider an animal and say, oh, an animal, uh, and dedication uh, that a pet can share. Even those that you adopt really, really shows that uh, animals are a lot more humane than humans and a lot more noble. Second uh, would be The Troll Bridge, another short story that's almost like a modern day fairy tale has that fairy tale feel but a mod uh, you know in modern times and it's very fantastical mystical but the lesson remains that a troll will always always get its toll so very fun read uh, another one that I really enjoyed and I think the most random story in the collection is the goldfish pool and other stories uh, you can we can keep speculating who was with uh, Jim Belushi when he died, and it's just you you become endeared to a character that you don't expect to. It was a really interesting read. I just really liked how the narrative flowed. You know, showing real life struggles of a writer that is is just trying to get a thing done. And you know executives and publishing houses and people who ha who don't care for the story but care for the story. Um, how they can interfere and just that experience and how it just flows. It, it's a it's a very interesting and I think um, it's one of those stories that really has that that smoke illusion that it's. You know, you read it and it fades, and you go like, "Wow, that that almost feels like it happened to me." Uh, next up is the Queen of Knives, which is a sh short story poem with a narrative uh, that really makes me not want to trust magicians ever. It was really cool. Uh, if you've ever read Lovecraft and you love Lovecraft, H.P. Lovecraft, uh, you should enjoy Shogoth's Old Peculiar. It was so random, and it, it really requires that you that you have read a, a couple of stories uh, from from one of my favorite authors. Um, but it, it it is hilarious. Uh, it, you need to know the source material, but if you do, you're really gonna enjoy that short story. Uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, stories from the collection was "We Can Get Them for You Wholesale." which is just wicked and it just shows that some people will do anything f to get a deal and to get a bargain it's like oh that's that's one special and it shows that sometimes that's not the best option and next up is a p the poem the sea change it's a poem about change life changes in the sea and it's just it's the sea and I really really uh, identify with the ocean and the sea and all the metaphors that come from it and this was a really beautiful read for me 
next up is tasting which is a story that has sex and where a playboy is pretty much played more than he could have ever imagined it is very wicked um, in that sense you know the, the those last two pages you read and and it's a bit chilling but in the in, in a good way uh, next to last from the selection is murder mysteries which is a winding tale within a tale within a tale of angels and demons and just Neil being Neil that's the best way that I can say and it's really fun and the last story of the collection I do want to mention which is snow glass and uh, snow glass apples uh, because I began not liking the story and then I saw what he was doing with the story and what the source material was and how it was inspired and then it ends and you're like what did he just do and it was just so fun to read and such a surprise and such a great way to finish a collection uh, definitely definitely fu a fun read I I'm gonna do there in the full review on on Goodreads I'm gonna probably give it four out of five because I do have to revisit it and I'm probably gonna reread it um, and I give it four out of five because I'm gonna be rereading uh, the collection a, a collection by Edgar Allan Poe and to me that's a five out of five when it comes to short stories and whatnot and HP Lovecraft like that's a five out of five every single story just hits hits home and here a couple of the stories weren't weren't as awesome for me everything was enjoyable everything was readable nothing was like oh god this is dragging um, but it, it, it was just missing that that bit also uh, because Neil set such a high standard that um, comparing it with Stardust or Coraline or the Sandman series or the ocean at the end of the lane or anything that I've given five out of stop uh, uh, five out of five you'd see why I, I, I give it four out of five but still a really solid four out of five um, it's gonna be one of those books that I have with me at work and I'm gonna pick up and just read a bit from time to time because it is that good uh, but again not all of it but most of it so have you read this and what are your thoughts on this video by all means comment share let me know what you think if you're gonna read anything else related to Neil by all means let me know and for now peace love and Mikey Rose